In his motion, Mr. Feetham claimed there are no overriding advantages on educational grounds for maintaining single-sex schools. Conversely, he argued that there is a compelling case that co-education provides a more realistic way of educating and training young people to take their place naturally in the wider community. He called on the government to start a debate on the issue by carrying out a consultation exercise to determine the views of the community as a whole. He quoted extensively from a 1974 report that concluded the time was not right then to introduce co-education and said the time had now come to do so. I believe that the time has come to be progressive on this issue, the time has come to look forwards on this issue, and the time has come for us all to embrace a modern outlook to co-education, and the starting point, Mr. Speaker, is the setting up of a working group, and the starting point, Mr. Speaker, is engagement with the public in order to have a proper debate in relation to this issue. Gilbert Likudi, who was Minister for Education until the recent reshuffle, said the government has an open mind on co-education, but emphasised there should not be change for the sake of change. He disagreed that mixed-sex schools are necessarily better than same-sex schools from an educational point of view, noting there are studies and evidence to support both arguments. And, insofar as the opposition's call for consultation was concerned, he pointed out in his amendment that a working group has already been set up. I don't know how long ago he prepared his speech, but several weeks ago I gave notice by letter to Mr Speaker of a proposed amendment to the motion, which sets out, and I will go into much de uh, further detail later, that a working group has already been set up. And for the Honourable Member to come with a prepared speech and say, you should be doing what you are already doing, when he knows we're already doing it, simply is to ignore the reality of what is going on today in education in Gibraltar. The three-hour debate predictably finished up with the government voting in favour of the amended motion and the GST opposition against. Independent opposition MP Marlene Hassan-Naon voted with the government.